by the time I was 15, I was beat by the police three times. Um, at eight years old, I was forced to get out of the car and lay next to my father. At 12 years old, I was beat with a walkie-talkie. At 15 years old, I was handcuffed, thrown um, in the back of the car, and they whispered in my ear, um, I should throw you in a Delaware River. It was difficult um, processing that I hated the police and I had every right to. And what it did, um, it made me suicidal at 12. Um, I knew exactly how I wanted to kill myself. But it wasn't just the police incident, I was being physically and emotionally abused at home. And so at 18, I made up my mind to get on a train to go to school by myself. I've been homeless before. I've eaten out of trash cans. But the one thing I didn't do, I never gave up. And if we just tune in and listen for him, our faith will carry us on and it'll restore us. And it carried me through. Um, it carried me through to where the incidents with the police uh, gave me enough courage to walk into the Marin County Sheriff's Office and demand that you give us what we ask for, not what you think that we need, which turned into them volunteering here in Marin City since last year and passing out close to 100,000 pounds of food and us starting a youth academy. Thank you. I know what I went through um, as a child was for a reason, but at that time, I did not know why. I've battled with depression. Um, I wanted to give up, but I believe I found my purpose when I came here two years ago in Marin City. I've immersed myself into this community, and for me, that's what gives me hope. I could stand up here all day and and really, I can blame so many people, but I am so blessed that I feel like I will be disrespecting God if I even just took the time out to really do that because what he's brought me through. My trauma, my, my trauma has resulted in psoriasis all over my body, um, you know, some insecurities, I was, you know, I was a little boy and I hadn't dealt with my trauma. I'd never been to therapy because we know as African-Americans, we don't want anyone in our business. And so we suffer in silence. And I just refuse to do that. I don't want to do that anymore. You know, God put people on this earth to help walk us through this, whether it's pastors, whether it's the therapist, whether it's the man standing outside of the store asking for a dollar, he may have a word for you. My father-in-law passed away in the house and I looked up to him because when my father died, he was who I had left. And I had to help carry him out of the home. That's when I knew that this just got real. The little boy is coming back. It's being rehashed. But again, this has resulted in me give, uh, gathering up the courage to be for this Marin City community and be unapologetically black in every space that I can be in. This trauma will not get the best of me. I am no longer scared. I am no longer that 12 year old boy who wants to run away. And if we just tune in and listen for him, our faith will carry us on and it'll restore us. <laughs>